Hi everyone, it's Shane here from SnapSeedStudio.com. Today I'm just going to process this uh, lovely shot um, I got from a balcony of a hotel, just of a city streetscape. It has a lot of potential, but again, there's a lot of distractions, the eyes sort of washing around within the scene. It has no real purpose, so let's uh, put some structure into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just adjust the perspective again, because quite often these things are out. I just want that building straight. Architecture is really critical, I think, to having things look straight. Um, buildings are on severe leans or not quite right. Just It's not good to the eye. Then I am going to crop out what I don't need. So over here I have um, a lot of, on the left hand side I've got some white buildings which I know would be distracting. If I crop into them too much then it's naturally going to pull my eye out. So what I'm going to do is just leave a little bit of shadow in it and look at the edge of that building. I am going to bring this in a little bit more because I don't want the edge of the building on the right and I want too much on the left as well. So that looks nice. Straight away your eyes just pulled in. That looks really nice. So the next thing I'll do is I'm just going to have a look at the ambience. I don't want this too flat. I think that a big part of this is really actually the shadows. They look fantastic. It's probably more a matter of how am I going to get the best out of this image. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more colour, not too much. But I will look at the highlights. And that is actually really not good for the image overall. So we're going to leave that alone. And let's have a look at some contrast because I'm not too worried about the shadows. Again, that's affecting the one spot. So this might require a little bit more manual manipulation, I think. So it doesn't look like much has really happened at this stage. So if I have a quick look at my tonal contrast, and then I do have a look at the highlights, it's pulling up nicely. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Protect the shadows. Pull that up a little bit more. And well, I think with this one here, the, the sky is starting to lose it a bit. So I'm gonna try and put a little bit of life back into that. Now, the challenge you have with the, with the brushes in the snap seat here, particularly if you're doing and trying to underexpose something, is that it's actually quite intense. So it's important that you really consider it on how you're actually adding to it. Again, just trying to pull a little bit more. So yeah, I'm actually happy with that. That's pulling my eye in a little bit more. And I am going to put a little bit of detail in this building. Just a little bit. Okay, so, so far that's looking really good. Off that train down there. All right, so if we look at that, and we look at that, it still doesn't look like there's much difference. But look at the sky now, that's really bringing in. So I think what I will do is to really draw my eye in a bit more and try and add a little bit more contrast. Because I will just darken up the outsides more and the outer brightness. I'm just Bring it over here a little bit. I don't feel that it needs to really need sort of more focal point here. And I'll bring that in. So add some drama and then the inner brightness. Just gonna pop that out a little bit more as well. So now you can see there is definitely starting to be a difference in there and creating a really interesting looking photo. So yeah, that's how you can take a, a really an existing nice shot already and turn in something a lot more and really just bring your photos to life. So if you're looking for more tips on how to use Snapseed, just go to snapseedstudio.com or shanestropicimages.com and uh, yeah, bring the best out of your photos. So let's export this. And so that means now, if you're interested in architecture or you want to do something that's along those lines, you can use that in your Facebook, your Instagram, and you have a far more int interesting and attractive image to use in your marketing and your promotions over just a standard photo and it looks like it's been professionally shot as well. So thanks a lot and have a great day.